Hey guys, welcome to the new video. In this video, I will show you how you boost your FPS with using NVIDIA DLSS and AMD FSR. If you're ready, let's dive into it. First, we need to download DLSS 3.5 from the NVIDIA developer website. I will leave the link in the description so you can download from there. When you open this page, just scroll down. We don't need to download those for Unreal Engine. We're going to come here, download DLSS 3.5 for Unreal Engine plugin. And in here, as you can see, DLSS 3 features include frame generation, super resolution, reflex, DLL, and image scaling. By the way, if you want to use frame generation, you need to have a 40 series RTX card. Uh, below that, uh, it's not working with frame generation, but still you can use super resolution and image scaling. So what you're going to do, you're going to click I agree terms. And if you're using Unreal 5.2, you can download this one. If you're using Unreal 5.3, you can download this one. Or if you need any previous versions, you can download those too. I'm going to use 5.3, so you can follow the tutorial with me if you download 5.3 too. Also for AMD Fidelity FX Super Resolution 3, you're just going to come to this page, which is, I will leave the link in the description again. So in here, just click Unreal Engine 5. And in here, you can download the plugin, which is FSR 3. If you want to use FSR 2 or 1, you can also choose from here in the software tab. There's also different sections that you can use, but we're just going to use FSR 3 for this video. In here, just download it and let's move to Unreal Engine. Before we move to Unreal Engine 5, I need to show how you can upload those packages into the Unreal Engine. So after you download FSR and DLSS, uh, you will find a folder like that. So what you can do from here, you can click the documentation and there's a pretty useful documentation for everything. If you need to understand how you can use it, I'm going to show a bit later in the video, but still I would recommend to read them all if you want to understand how they're working. So in here, click the plugins and in the plugin step, as you can see, there's a four different uh, folder, the LSS, movie pipeline support, NIS and streamline. Uh, even you don't going to use movie pipeline support, which is, uh, just any way uh, you can put it into the Epic Games uh, Unreal Engine folder. So it is no harm that this can stay there. Also for the FSR, when you came to FSR, as you can see, there is a package like that. And there's a PDF. You can also read this about how you can use it. And there's as like the DLSS. There's a mover under pipeline and the actual folder FSR3. So what we're going to do, we're going to find where is Unreal Engine in our computer, which is um I have in Epic Games and the program files, Unreal 5.3. So what you can do here, go to engine, then go to plugins. In the plugins, there will be a marketplace. If you don't have, you can create. That's okay, no problem. In here, as you can see, I have FSR 5.3, whole package in here. And also NVIDIA DLSS packages in here. So you just need to copy and paste it into this folder. Came to Unreal. By the way, if you're curious which uh, folder project is this, just in the DLSS page, go to DLSS. In DLSS folder, there's a samples in DLSS 3 test. You can open this project. This project is better to understand how uh, DLSS is working because if you just implement those into your own game, uh, it might not, not work so great because you don't know which kind of commands and stuff you need to use. So firstly, it is better if you check this sample project and which is I'm going to show in here, then I will export everything like the LSS and stuff to another project and I'm going to show you how you can use it. So what we're going to do here, just go to edit and plugins. And in here, you can see there's an install tab. 
In the install tab, I already opened all NVIDIA technologies. Uh, you can just click it for FSR, it's the same. Just open it with that way. Then you're going to need to restart your project and the project will be ready to use with DLSS and FSR. By the way, before the start, I will definitely recommend read the documentation. I'm saying it for the second time because when I uh, implement those things to do my project, I was thinking, okay, I'm just going to open a plugin and I'm just going to set some checkboxes and everything will work fine, but it's not working with that way. It's complicated than that. Uh, not that complicated, don't afraid, but you still need to understand how you can use console commands. And uh, there's some uh, specific functions if you want to set off and set on to FSR and uh, DLSS. So I will definitely recommend check the documentation first. So this project is defaultly open, like everything is open. We can use it right away, but uh, I'm just going to show you anyway to how you can do it. Just go to edit and in here, go to project settings. In the project settings, go to plugins tab. In the plugins tab, you can see there's a NVIDIA DLSS in here, just click it. And as you can see, everything is clicked and open right now. Uh, what it does, for example, uh, it is enabled to turn on editor DLSS in the viewport, in the plain editor viewport, or uh, are you going to show screen debug messages or not? And this is show, uh, are you going to use this for direct 11, direct 12 and walk and render? and stuff, um, it's just everything is open already. So I just opened the console variable in here because what it does actually, when I play the game, uh, you will see. Okay, it, uh, they created a UI menu like that, but you don't need to use it for DLSS. I'm just showing because it's the easier way, but the, actually, the one thing I want to show you is console variables. I just open this in here because you can see actually what it does when I change something in here, as you can see what it changes in the console variables. It's just basically uh, setting up some uh, comments in the console and it's just changing with that way. So right now uh, we're using Lumen in the scene and hardware ray tracing is off. When I click on or FPS is 84, 83 kind of ish right now because NVIDIA DLSS is open as you can see in the upscaling. So when we go back to built in, which is we closing the DLSS, we're going to around 50. So what it does, let's see. Hardware ray tracing is one, it's open as you can see. We opened in here. The resolution is uh, right now my screen resolution and screen percentage. Screen percentage is so crucial for everything about those uh, image generations, uh, optimization tools like DLSS and FSR. Uh, most of the things are just all about screen percentage and anti-aliasing, which is I'm going to show later. So right now as an anti-aliasing method, we have TAA, which is, let's check it in here. It says it's two. What is two? In here, it's, as you see, temporal anti-aliasing. Okay, this is, I want to show you. I didn't open DLSS right now. We are not using DLSS and our anti-aliasing method is TAA, which is temporal anti-aliasing. As you can see, it's saying the value is two in the console and two uh, is temporal anti-aliasing. When I go off, it's zero. That means we are not using any anti-aliasing methods in the scene right now. And we're still getting around 52, but the general image uh, is looking so bad because anti-aliasing is a so crucial thing for things like games because games are interactable. And this anti-aliasing is another case, but we all know that we need because just basic explanation, everything you see on the screen is uh, little pixels and those pixels are square, but we basically rendering uh, rectangles in the game on our meshes and stuff. 
and uh, there is some breaks like glitches happening corners of the those meshes so we need entailizing if i'm wrong you can write in the description but as much as i know it is like that so what i'm going to do i'm just going to change the upscaling method to dlss and as you can see right now i'm using four entailizing methods which is temporal super resolution and or screen percentage uh, went to 66.7 so we downgraded our screen percentage but we using a uh, temporal super resolution this is what uh, fsr and dlss uses by the way and right now we don't have any sharp uh, break corners on the meshes and stuff everything looks smoother but let's see what happens when i close ray tracing as you can see our all reflections on the mirrors and stuff change changed uh ray tracing works so much better but in the performance when i close ray tracing by the way this is lumen hardware ray tracing it's not ray tracing in the uh, post-process settings which is as you can see i'm using lumen not the standard on ray trace so i'm just gonna open ray tracing anyway and in the nvidia dlss settings uh we can change it and how we can by the way let's check again console variables dlss enable one this is how dlss works uh in the console commands so you don't have to use it you can use console variables as i said before and upscaling is zero right now we are not making any upscale uh the photograph this is not about dlss so lumen hardware ray tracing one and rate force all ray tracing is uh, minus one which means we are not forcing to all ray tracing effects right now in the screen so it's okay and upscaling is zero as I said. because we're using dlss not uh temporal entializing or temporal super resolution so we can increase the sharpness and as you can see what sharpness does it is this art dot nas dot sharpness increasing in the comment line and make it like 1.4 also you can show stats in here I cannot use frame generation by the way because I don't have a 40 series CPU. I have a 30 series CPU. So, but it's this frame generation DLSS works so much better than the normal DLSS as much as I saw. So, if you have 40 series 40 generation RTX card, you can use it too. Reflex mode, this is not something I can show in the map, but it's okay. So in the DLSS call of the settings, we can go to DLLL. What this does, it's screen percentage goes to goes to 100 again. So that means we are not changing the screen percentage. Uh, screen percentage is same, and our performance around 51. What about I closed DLSS and I'm using. I'm not using DLLL so much. So let's go to quality. In the quality, we're getting around 83. Let's uh, boost it. Ultra performance, we're getting 120. But the frame just got messed up. It's looking not so good. So maybe we can use balance. It's kind of okay, but we're getting around 95, 96. So I think quality in 80 FPS is the best way to do it right now so thing i want to show you is i don't have to change from here i can use all of those uh console variables for example let's go how we can use it i'm just going to show r.ngx. dlss and you can see preset needs sharpen you can enable and disable the noiser mode and auto exposure and temp water reflections sharpness everything is also a console command but you can use those in the blueprint too okay this time let's check the amd fsr uh i'm using three by the way so i just prepared some uh console commands that we can use to open the fsr in our scene but before that let me just show you uh how we can enable the plugin 
let's go to project settings and in the project settings as you can see there's fidelity fx super resolution and in here you need to enable you can enable all the exposure and um, other settings if you want but i'm not going to use it right now so instead of uh, setting up from here i'm just going to use console commands by the way for example let's check the quality mode a uh, native quality balance performance and ultra performance uh, I'm just going to decide which one I will use based on this quality mode. As you can see, uh, zero is native uh, quality, balance, performance, and ultra performance based on the variable, the value of this comment. So let's see how it is works. So first I need to unconnect the LSS from here. And also, I'm going to go to disable the LSS. OK, we're using uh, cinematic scalability. Let me also open uh, FPS in here so we can. OK, let's see. Orientalizing method, the temporal super resolution. Quality mode is 0. Let's go 1. Okay, we went to 60. Let's go to uh, 2 is balanced. We were in the quality. So let's go to performance. We're getting something around 86 and or screen percentage is 50, as you can see. We can increase or decrease the sharpness. The sharpness okay let's go 0 0.6 this compiler because of the something else don't worry about it uh it's not about uh, fsr so the last one is ultra performance let's go with that okay we getting okay we getting something in 100 but all our reflections got a bit weird so i'm just going to decrease sharpness a bit but it doesn't work so much but it still boosts our performance which is good that's why we're using fidelity fx and the lss right but uh fidelity effects also use frame generation so uh i cannot use frame generation in the lss because of my graphics card as i said uh let's go back to quality mode to two like a balance mode this is our screen percentage 58 and I think it is not bad. Like we're getting something around 70 while we getting uh without using it, we're getting around 40, so it just gives us a 30 frames uh performance boost, and I think it's not bad. By the way, I'm still learning uh and I'm still recommend to read all of those documentation. Which is you can find as you can see it uh, explains quality modes and how you can enable all of these plugins. So when you, if you already download the and there's also you saw console variables, if you already download uh, the LSS and FSR, you can find those uh, PDF files inside of the folder, and you can check how you can use it for your game. So this video was about DLSS and FSR and how you can enable those inside of the Unreal Engine 5. As I said, I'm still learning. So if you have any tips and recommends, please write a comment in the description. And please like the video and subscribe to the channel. It helps me a lot. Until the next video, see you all. I hope you all doing great work.